Hey, what it do, what it do, man? It's IQ Shahi. Welcome back to the channel, man. Now, today, you know, I met a unique cat, man. Um, as you can see, man, young white cat with a Black Lives Matter sign. Out of all the signs in the world, he can hold, he holds this one. So, you know, I had to get to the bottom is, I'm like, is he trolling? Is he serious? What's the story behind this? Is he looking for money? What is he doing this for? Let's find out. All right. Welcome back, welcome back to the channel, man. You got IQ Shahid, man. I'm here today with a special, special guest, man. Um, someone that I met in my endeavors of working out and, you know, just along the journey of life here recently, man. Um, tell them who you are, where you from, and anything else, your age, anything about yourself. Yeah, my name's Jordan, 21. Uh, I went to Hermitage High School. I'm out here protesting with my equal rights, and I got everything to back it up. If someone's willing to come up to me and question me, I'm 21 years old and I just, I'm going with the right thing because this world needs it and all. I'm not taking any regrets off this. Anyone that wants to know the truth, well, I am the truth. So why don't you ask me? Cause I keep it 100 every day. All right, we back, we back. So my next question, uh, Jordan, man. Uh... I heard you said you went to uh, Hermitage High School. Shout out Hermitage, um, all the alumni, um, all the teachers. How was it just like, not necessarily school or how was it coming up? Like what type of things were you into? Um, hobbies maybe, uh, music, artists, anything of that nature? Uh, well, you know, I've always listened to rap music. You know, it, it has been guidance in my life and all. What? Yeah! All the other music, I just, I let go because it has no meaning behind it. That's not what this country is made off of, in my opinion. So, uh, you know, that's just- What, what do you I think do. the country is made of? Like, how, how do you, how you think, like, what do you think the country is made off of, or? I think it's made off of uh, black people. Okay. Uh, every other people in this world, they come pouring in, take control, or take our money, take our women, and think it's all okay. White pe I don't see no white people taking a stand, so right. I, I'm the only white person that's gonna take <laughs> yeah, a stand. Yeah, I wanna say you is, yeah. Look, y'all yeah. see the sign, he is, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the last segment, you know what I mean, you touched on the uh, the black culture and you said how you had an uh, appreciation for hip hop music. That was really, you you were more in tune with that. So what kind of got you in tune with the, the culture to even compel you and make you wanna post up and, and and promote and you know what I mean put the Black Lives Matter uh I guess mantra and meaning what, what made you want to do that like what, 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 what inspires you to do that well see you know you know when I was always growing up in school or all through grade school I've always had people make me believe what they want to believe in mm. instead of what really actually matters because I noticed when I was in history class I didn't pay attention no because they had the Confederacy stuff in there, and that just wasn't fair at all. It's this pro-white power rally. You spit on me? No, I'm not. Saturday afternoon, police suited up in protective gear, holding their high-power weapons. They had to control three different fights on Robert E. Lee Boulevard. <laughs> News Chopper 2 shows the white power rally. Only about a dozen people were spreading their message. Police kept this group of 300 protesters away from the small group waving their Confederate flags. Anytime that there's a white supremacist uh, attempt to, you know, promote their horrible views, there need to be people out in opposition. They want to erase our history because they want to erase us. That, so John, John, why call it a pro-white rally? It is a pro-white rally. Heritage has everything to do with race. So. I already knew what the truth was behind this world and it needed someone like me to support Black Lives Matter. And that is why I'm here to this day. And I'm not gonna stop until my voice gets heard. And So this is really like, you, you really mean this. It's not a hoax, it's not a parody. You're not trolling, you're not finessing, scamming. This is like, you you have your heart into this. This is 100. Oh, that's dope, that's dope. See y'all, and that's what I that's why I really wanted to interview you because I didn't know, I just thought it was dope. You just grabbed my attention with the, the sign. I was like, whoa, I got a, who is this guy? And what is he, you know what I mean? What is he on? So it's yeah. just, it's a rare thing. And you know, that, I think it's dope. I think you are, you're, uh, you're like a unicorn, you know what I'm saying? You stand alone, um, you standing on business, you, you, you standing for what you believe in and shit, I co-sign you, you know what I mean? Um, 
it just hit me. I had thought of this question I wanted to ask you yesterday after, I, well, as some else uh, rung the bell for me, but are you familiar with like the actual people who founded the corporation of Black Lives Matter? Not the, not the, not the um, mantra, but the people, have, are you aware of them like being accused of scamming and buying big houses and stuff like that? Uh, not, not okay, so let me fill you in. So if you Google, um, I don't want to. I, I don't want to say any wrong names, but it's actually the people who, not the slogan, but you know, it's the difference between the slogan and it's a corporation, right? Yeah. I know okay, that. that was taking all, this, uh, collecting all the donations and all that. Right. So they're being accused of buying luxurious five million dollar homes in L.A., uh, Miami, um, doing false uh, tax write-offs. Um, they didn't. Basically, all the money that they got off the Black Lives Matter mantra that they made into a corporation. Um, it was it was all finesse. It was all scam. You know what I mean? You got any thoughts on that type shit? No, I said it was all basically uh, a scam. Is what everybody's saying. Um, the people that actually ran, not the not the meaning, but the people who said we're going to LLC this and make it a business. What are your thoughts on that? Do you feel like like what do you what, how do you feel about that? Like them using that name to get personal uh, gain and whatnot. Well, personally, you know, if you ain't about. The BLM movement, and you actually know what it is. A lot of people's gonna jump in. For instance, right. Antifa's, they're jumping into the BLM's, trying to make the BLM's look bad, bad influence on them, trying to make it look like it's the worst movement. But literally, it's the best movement there is and ever will be because this world, that's what the world needs. It needs less fame and more honesty to know what's right versus wrong and that's why i'm standing for this because i'm not hiding my face behind the scenes i'm not um breaking up stuff or anything and i feel like i have a purpose doing this and what does what does like your fam or your friends think about this or do they know or you you how's that um, going well truth be told i've disowned my entire family mm. everybody that i knew personally the ones i you know keep close is is grateful they support you um the, the ones that that support you support you basically i don't know that but oh okay I support them oh that's that's dope that's yeah. dope so you don't even have no ill will in your heart towards them no you just don't you can't really mess with them like that correct yeah okay okay I, that's that's deep man um damn any last words you want to say anything you want to anything you want to promote push uh any positive energy for the people anything um, well, to be honest, if you don't know what's right in the BLM movement, you're not going to know the purpose behind life personally because, well, that's what's going on in this country right now, and I'm the one person that's doing it. I don't see anybody else out here single protesting, you know, and he, they got to run in crowds with the BLMs just mm -hmm. to get chaos out of it, and I'm not doing it for fame nothing i'm just doing it because it's what it's right i'm trying to make it right in this world well said well um y'all tap in links in the description um if you want to get in touch with him his link is in the description his instagram and i'll put everything else under there appreciate y'all for uh viewing appreciate you jordan you know what i mean for being for dope sure, and, sure. and really you know voicing your opinion i really appreciate that regardless of whatever your views may be you know what i'm saying this is actually my first time doing this so okay. is it yours too uh yeah <laughs> yeah so yeah it's a first um uh, it was a dope conversation y'all like comment subscribe and go follow jordan I'm gone yeah i'm smoking gas feel like i cute oh feel like i cute bitch i'm smoking gas i feel like i cute i feel like i cute bitch i'm smoking gas i feel like i cute yeah I feel like I cute, cause I'm smoking gas, I feel like I cute, yeah. I feel like I cute, I'm sipping that red solo like I cute, yeah. Yeah, I got all these bitches on.